How to teach your kids to write letters. Teaching letters is difficult when a child is just not interested in coloring, writing, and fine motor tasks. Learning how to write the alphabet is one of the first steps in your kid's journey of learning. Generally, most of the parents buy a handwriting or alphabet activity book and get their kids to go through the exercises in it. This method works sometimes but more often not. This thought is outdated ideas by which the parents themselves grew up. So, instead of following this outdated ideas, why not start off simple, with fun and effective activities. To help you parents, I prepare some simple but fun and effective ways on teaching your kids how to write alphabet. The first thing we should do as a parent is to create a strong foundation for the skills that will eventually lead to writing. 1. Build fine motor skills. Fine motor skills involve the uses of small muscle in our hands, fingers, and wrists in a controlled way. Fine motor skills involve the movements of small muscles that require your kid's brain to coordinate between the action and what they are seeing. It's important to start working on building their fine motor skills early on not only to improve their writing, but also the ability to perform age-appropriate tasks. Here are some activities that can encourage and help our kids to develop their fine motor skills. Fine motor skills can be divided into four categories. Squeezing, pinching, twisting, and hand-eye coordination. Squeezing is to press something firmly in order to change its shape, reduce its size, or remove liquid from it. Squeezing activities. Playing dough. Squeezing ball. Squeezing sponge. Squeezing orange. Squeezing paint. Squeezing bottle. Squeezing icing pen. Pinching is to grip something tightly and sharply between finger and thumb. Pinching activities. String beads. Turning pages of board book. Finger foods. Clothespin. Peeling stickers. Playing cards. Playing with blocks. Twisting. Twisting is to remove something by turning or rotating it. Twisting activities. Open a bottle cap. Opening a closed doorknob. Opening a jar. Playing a Rubik's Cube. Hand-eye coordination is the ability to perform movements with the hands while being guided by the eyes. Hand-eye coordination activities. Puzzles. Throwing and catching a ball. Finger painting. Building with blocks Lego. Working in the garden. Threading. Drawing. Tracing. 
shoe lacing. Cutting and sticking. Sandpit toys. When your kids find motor skills improved through the use of activities I stated, you can now teach your kids to hold and use pencil or other writing tools. 2. Developing pre-writing skills. Pre-writing skills are the fundamental skills need to develop before they effectively write and form letters. Pre-writing skills contribute to kids' ability to hold and use a pencil, ability to draw, write, copy, color, and express themselves. Underdeveloped this skills can make your kids' fingers unsteady and hard for them to grip writing tools. This can lead to frustration and resistance. Also can result to poor self-esteem and academic performance. Here are some important pre-writing skills that our kids need to learn first before starting a formal writing. Developing pre-writing skills. Step 1. The ability to hold pencil and other writing tools. After helping your kids in building finger strength and eye-hand coordination, you can now teach your kids how to hold and use pencil and other writing tools. Before getting started, provide your kids a good place to write, a quiet place with desk or table and good lighting. Also provide them with lots of writing materials. Step 2. Handwriting Warm-Up Before you begin in any handwriting activities, take a couple of minutes for hand warm-up exercises. Hand warm-up activities is a short physical exercises to prepare your kids ready, physically and mentally, before holding or using writing tools. Here are fun and effective activities that can wake up their muscles. Hand Pushes Wall Push-Ups Hand rolling pencil. Thumb and finger strength. Squeeze stress ball. Role play dough. Play pick up stick. Piano fingers. Pencil twirls. Step 3. Proper pencil grips. It is the act of correct way of holding pencil or pen. Proper pencil grip is essential in writing and drawing. It is the ability of a kid to maneuver the pencil or pen with efficient finger movement. Improper holding of pencil or any writing tools not only causes pain into your kid's hands and fingers, but it can also affect your kid's speed and fluency in writing as well as impact in their academic achievements. Ways in proper pencil grip. Start with correct writing position. The correct writing position is that when a child sits straight, hips at the back of their chair at 90 angle position, feet flat on the floor, elbow off edge of desk. Desk should be one to two inches higher than bent elbow. The non-writing hand should be on the table or desk to stabilize the paper. In holding a pencil teach the kid not to grip it tightly to avoid unnecessary pain or pressure into their finger, hand and shoulder muscles. Start practicing with short pencil or small pieces of writing tools like chalk and colors. There are different pencil grip techniques you can apply in teaching your kid. Kinds of pencil grip. Dynamic tripod grasp. Is one of the many teachers considered as correct. The tips of the thumb, index, and middle fingers control the pencil. Lateral tripod grasp. The pencil is held along the lateral side of the thumb by the index finger, long finger, and ring finger. Static tripod grasp. The pencil is held with the thumb, the index, and long finger, but no movement of fingertips during writing. Developing per writing skills. Step 4. Learning basic handwriting strokes. One of the most effective ways in teaching our kids to write is to teach them the basic strokes. Learning the basic strokes is important in writing letters, numbers, and in drawing. By learning the basic strokes or lines kids can easily recognize and form letters.
The basic strokes. Vertical line is a line that perpendicular to the surface or another line that is considered as a base or called the standing line. Horizontal line. Horizontal line or sleeping line is a line that goes from left to right across the page. Diagonal lines. Diagonal line is a slanting line. It is a straight line joining to opposite corners of a square, rectangle or other straight-sided shape. Circle. Circle is simply means a round shape, undercurve, the curve formed by the underside of something. Down curve. Down curve is a curve that turns in the downward direction. Touch the baseline, curve up and right to the midline. Teaching lines and curves to your kids is an important way to improve their handwriting skills. In a continuous practice of your kids, build foundation for drawing and writing letters, numbers and words. By encouraging and helping your kids to develop their writing skills at early age, you are just contributing to your kids' future success. Parents plays an important role in kids' learning. Remember, it takes a lot of time for our kids to learn writing. So be patient, just take a positive approach. Make learning time fun and interesting. Just teach from the heart.